You probably know that Standard Time is a time tracking application and you can barcode projects, tasks, work orders on the shop floor. But did you also know that you can barcode inventory and bill of materials and deduct from the quantity in stock? So let's go ahead and take a look at how it would work. Let's start by going into Tools, Inventory, and Bill of Materials to see what you can scan to automatically deduct from inventory. It turns out that all of these inventory items here are scannable. So the names that you see over here on the right hand side can be set up on barcode labels and you can scan them to automatically deduct from inventory. Same is true with the Bill of Materials. If you were to scan, let's say, panel assembly, that would deduct all of the items from inventory in this entire bill of materials. Let's switch over to Microsoft Word where we can actually see the labels that would be printed out and scanned on the shop floor. In this case, we've got a simple name here of a bill of materials. You recognize the panel assembly. I'm going to remove this font, go back to a normal text font so that you can see that there's no real magic here. We've got the asterisk before and after, which is normally necessary for most barcodes. In this case, we have an equals character to substitute for the space, but this is just the name of the bill of materials that we saw over in standard time or an inventory item. So here we're actually adding a uh, hundred of these items back into inventory, adding 200 panel assemblies, and then down here we're subtracting five of these and seven panel assemblies. So you can add and subtract using this special notation with the dashes and the quantity. Let's undo. You can see then the normal font that we use for printing out barcode labels. Go ahead and print those out and then scan those on the shop floor or the receiving dock. Back to standard time, we'll go back into tools, inventory. It turns out that you can scan more than just the name. You may remember that PN1 from the barcode label. It turns out you can scan the name or the SKU or a code or a part number. Uh, you can scan the vendor SKU or the manufacturer SKU. So if you already have these barcodes printed on boxes coming in off the uh, receiving dock, you can then scan those, put them back into inventory. And that would affect the quantity in stock, whether we're subtracting or adding. Now when the quantity in stock drops below the reorder quantity, this will kick off a script to automatically reorder those items or replenish if you're building them in-house. Now that's the topic of another video, but uh, that is a way to automatically reorder or replenish those items. Now when we're in the bill of materials, you'll notice that bill of materials do not have quantities. Instead, each of the items in the bill of materials has a quantity. So in this case, we have two wood panels, 24 nuts, 35 screws, and 12 weldment assemblies. So when you scan the panel assembly bill of materials, you're actually deducting all of these items in this quantity from inventory. So go ahead and set up your barcodes and begin scanning inventory items in addition to the uh, time tracking that you get in standard time.